Is Trump a racist? Houston, we have a problem. I don't know, is she Indian or is she black? She is. I think she's as Native American as I am, okay? They don't look like Indians to me, and they don't look like Indians to Indians. Carlos Reyes on the humble show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah we all in, yeah, we all in. So grab your boys now, cause you know we all win. Lift your hands up and give them praise. Blessed every day, full of grace. Yeah. Yeah, we all in, yeah, we all Welcome back to the All In Podcast, where the truth is unedited. I'm your host, Carlos Reyes, and today we have a very special guest in the building. But before I introduce him, let me introduce my man, the most interesting man in the industry, Mr. Zadie. To my left here, I got uh, my business partner in the solar space, Mr. Phil LeConte, and I also have my other business partner in the solar space, Mr. Garrett George. Now, for our very special guest, uh, this is a man that, man, I've, I've really learned to uh, just, I've, I've become close with them ever since I was on his show uh, a few years ago out in Vegas. And, uh, you know, I follow him very closely. He's one of the 300 and some people that I follow on Instagram very closely because I actually think he's a very uh, unique individual. Welcome to the show, Mr. Wayne Lewis. What's up, what's up? What's, what's up, poppin'? brother? What's poppin'? Well, thanks for having me. Man, so first of all, uh, what brought you into to Arizona? Uh, doing handling some business, and then I just knocked out some podcasts. So this is my number three podcast. There you go. Today. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm glad you're in the building, brother. Um, and, you know, we just had to fire up the show for you. Um, sure. we, we did a show, I think, Monday or Tuesday, right? Tuesday, yeah. yeah. And I was like, man, let's – every time I sit down and talk to you, even whether it's on the phone, DM mm-hmm. – it's always very interesting, yeah, you know. It's it's, it's high good. level, so yeah, it's yeah. like, dude, it, it, this this will make good, this is gonna be good regardless, yeah. right? For sure. So with with that being said, brother, um, you, you know, why don't we start here? Mm-hmm. Uh, I see a lot of your posts, mm-hmm. right? And you're on top of a lot of things. You're on top of the things that are going on in the country. You're on top of the things that are going on uh, 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 globally, right? With the Olympics and everything that's happening. Um, you actually are you're actually, you're actually promoting a a a boxer a young boxer that's undefeated mm-hmm. that I've known since 2019 mm-hmm. right before he actually got really big yeah. in the boxing world um, so congrats for for that you know I know you're the boxer that you are uh, promoting as far as brand wise yeah. um, he's fighting on September 14th yeah, versus Edgar, Canelo Alvarez Edgar right Edgar Canelo. Berlanga that's gonna be a mega fight um, Puerto Rico Puerto versus Rico. Mexico it's gonna be huge right Puerto Rico yeah. versus Mexico but, and, you, and, and they know it because the tickets even the nosebleeds are like 360 right now <laughs> now now yeah. now yeah. You know, this is big. this is what I'll say I, and, and I've been going back and forth with you on that because guess what bro uh, man of course I want you know the the young uh, up and coming stallion sure you know, to to kind of make a career, mm-hmm. right? Make a long, good career. Um, I, I know his uh, upbringing. I know his father. Mm-hmm. I know where he comes from, mm-hmm. right? And uh, he's been a good kid, mm-hmm. you know, all of his life. Mm-hmm. In my opinion, um, I think he took this fight just a little too early. I told you that yeah. over tech, over m- messaging, right? Yeah, um, I said, you know what? He took this fight a little too early, mm-hmm. right? He's, what's his record right now? 16-0? 22. 20, 22 and 0. Okay, 22 and 0. Solid. Uh, which is solid. And I think his first 12 or 13 fights, first Knock round knockouts, yeah, yeah. Wild. wild, right? Yeah. Um, I just feel like, but but like I was telling you, there is no right time for this fight because really? Canelo's on kind of, you know, he's in his prime, but he's on his way out. No, nah, he's, he's past his prime. Okay, yeah. you fight think wise, so? Yeah, yeah. He's 33, 34. Okay, mm-hmm. so, so there it is, yeah, right? Yeah, he's on right. his way out, yeah, yeah. but I feel like Berlanga just needed one to two more years or two to four more more good solid fights but then again it doesn't matter yeah, because but where, do you, but where do you go where, where do you go to get even if you got two or more solid fights people will still say it's not enough there's nobody who's going to match the skill level and the iq of canelo alvarez so regardless if he takes it later or right now he still has to step up to the plate and fight canelo alvarez that's what he that's what he has to fight there's nobody yeah. you can get that matches Canelo's skill level. Let's be real. So he can fight two, three, four, five, even ten more fights. He still has to fight the king of the hill. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I think now is m- the most important time because you got a Canelo that's older. He's slower. And even you can see it when he fought. You saw it the last couple of fights. Yeah. his last fight. He's slowing mm-hmm. down. You got Edgar, a young, a young hungry lion that has knockout power, mm-hmm. that has, can, can fight. 
and, and has learned a lot about himself. So I think it's prime for both. Canelo fought. We thought Canelo wasn't ready when he fought Floyd. Mm-hmm. Granted, yeah. yeah, he lost to Floyd, but shit, yeah. when, how he do you prepare it. for Floyd? Yeah. But look what happened, yeah. right? Yeah. That, 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 remember when I asked you, I yeah, said, how, how do you prepare for Floyd? Can't. Yeah, mm-hmm. you don't prepare for Canelo either, right? So, yeah. in my opinion, I feel like this is going to be, regardless of the outcome, mm-hmm. it's going to be a great lesson for Berlanga. Mm-hmm. Um, it's going to be, it's going to be great for his brand, mm-hmm. right? Regardless, like everybody's know who oh, he is yeah. when you fight Canelo. Yeah. So mm-hmm. you're right. You know, it, there is no right time, There's I no guess, right time, to fight no. Canelo. So, no right um, I think Berlanga did what any boxer right now would Supposed do, to. right? Take the money is take jump, the jump on it. And so, train your ass off and prepare for this fight. So well, predictions, who's think, winning? Think well, that's ba- one thing I actually like about boxing uh, is I feel like they're starting to actually, it, it was for a while, like mm-hmm. there wasn't the good fights that needed to be made. And so right. now you're seeing boxing kind of get a little criticism from the UFC mm-hmm. and all these right. other all these other brands that do fighting. And it's like that was the main criticism mm-hmm. is the best fighters aren't fighting the best mm-hmm. people. And so I think you're slowly starting to see that come back into mm-hmm. boxing where it's like, no, you, you got to. Because at the same time, mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe it wasn't the right time, but this is the time. Yeah, and but what does that mean? Not the right time. What does that mean when it comes to success I, or anything like that? Yeah, no I would say experience thing. from Berlanga. Yeah, but I think what is he, experience? Because he can fighting have, fighting other world champions. Yeah, but where are they? Well, let me let me ask you this. Right. Why wouldn't Berlanga fight Benavides? Benavides don't want that fight, and Benavides can't make that weight. Benavides is naturally. He, he's a he's a big dude. Two hundred and something. Yeah, he's pounds. a big dude. Yeah. Naturally, <laughs> his brother's yeah. a lot skinnier. He's naturally two hundred and something pounds. Okay, he's, fight his brother. He's Jose. Killing. Fight yeah. Jose. Which Jose he, is he, a good fighter. He just uh, loves he, to party. He he would beat Jose. He, yeah, he, he's not focused. The fight to be made is the fight that was made, and I think mm-hmm. that people are counting Edgar out because he quote unquote is not known, but. I don't think that's why they're counting. I think that's what well, makes. The story. I don't think that's. I think that's. Are you seeing the comments? Story. I've seen the comments, bro. Who is this guy? Yeah. Buster yeah. Douglas wasn't ready. Bro. Listen, listen. I'm gonna be rooting for him regardless because yeah. I, I normally root for for the underdog anyway. I can't tell you how many times I was hoping uh, Floyd Mayweather was gonna lose right. to mm-hmm. you know. Oh, I believe in this guy. I believe in this and guy. I believe in this Maidana guy. Even when even showed life in that first fight, Floyd was willing to run him back to show us, bro. Yeah. This dude can't beat me. Yeah, I had, bro, I, I even though I knew what the outcome was going to be, I went for Maidana, I went for mm-hmm. Canelo, I went for Victor Ortiz. I, I rooted for all these dudes mm-hmm. to beat Floyd, and nobody Same. ever got around to right. it. So, again, yeah. if Berlanga surprises me, bro, uh, again, I'm going to root for him to win. Um, I just, you know, again, bro, I, I don't think that, I, I think this, this fight between the sixth and the eighth round, I'm calling it right now, um, I think that's where that's where there's a stoppage, between oh, the sixth on, and the eighth on round. On whose side? I think Canelo puts him down, bro. Nah, and it, and it hurts so. to say that. Can, Canelo hasn't put no nobody hey, down. Okay. Since, okay. Since okay. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Okay. I don't think I don't think that's it. If anybody's get put down, if Canelo get clipped with one of Eggers punches. Oh. Nighttime. By the way, agreed. First, yo, yo, first of all, Remember, agreed. So what's he, your he, what's your prediction? He, he knocks I think that it's going to be a good fight, but I'm going for Edgar. I, I want Edgar to win this fight. You think it? You think it's oh, going yeah, to go all the and, way? And if, if, if Edgar does what he's supposed to do, from round one through twelve, mm-hmm. one, he'll win. Two, he has a puncher's chance. Remember, mm-hmm. he's young and he's a knockout artist. Can you Correct. expand on that, bro? This what ain't mean, going twelve rounds. By, what do you mean by do it's, what it's he's supposed to do? What does that? What does that mean from your as a fighter? You wait. You can't go in there playing with Canelo. I mean. There's Magia, a plan. There's a strategy. Magia came yeah. out, and Magia did really well. I mean, Canelo didn't stop him. One, he's smaller than Edgar. He's 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 not as skilled as Edgar. He throws a lot of punches, and he's tough. You're dealing with Edgar, who is bigger, right, height-wise, mm-hmm. longer, and is going to come in the ring heavier with knockout power. Magia was jabbing the shit out of Canelo. Yeah. You watch that fight. He was hitting Canelo. Well, I'm like, damn. Edgar don't jab. Well, and also, to be Edgar honest. Edgar don't jab. Like, he, he yeah, Edgar don't jab. But, you see what I'm saying? See, no, no, What's no, the point of being bigger we don't if know you're what not going to jab? Plan is. You, we don't know what the game plan is. Well, so brother, 22, jab, 22, maybe it's gonna be different. 22 and 0, mm-hmm. and all you've ever done is knock people out. Mm-hmm. It's, hard to, it's hard to teach an old dog a new trick for that one fight. Yeah, but his last couple of fights, well, his last fight was a stoppage, but that dude was actually really, really good. So, again, we'll get, see. Get, well, I, I also you didn't ask, it He didn't answer your question, Garrett. He didn't, 
I I said he's 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 out between the sixth and the eighth round. No. Yeah. Okay. That, again, that's just that's yeah. just my so opinion. Go Doesn't way? mean it's true. Yes. It's going twelve. It's going twelve. It's it's, it's going twelve. Wait, so okay. I, if Canelo don't get knocked out, it's going yeah, twelve. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, yeah, no, 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 no. I need a pro- bro. Yeah. I, I I need a prediction <laughs> right now. If you if you okay. Well, he's gonna take I, Edgar. Uh, I like Edgar in a split decision. Okay. And if there it, it is. And if, okay. And if and if and if it does look like there's any kind of whatever a draw. Remember, yeah. Canelo just got stripped of his belts. Mm-hmm. So I don't even think they feeling him right now. Well, to be honest, that's why I was going to say is tough. there's <laughs> actually, there's not a lot of pressure. Like, there, there's still pressure on Edgar, but mm-hmm. all the pressure is actually on Canelo. Because if you, you, are, you got stripped of your belts, you weren't looking the best in the last couple of fights, um, all the pressure is actually on Canelo Maybe to Maybe Canelo perform. gets clipped. Mm-hmm. Sleepy. First of all, bro, I am going to say I hope Edgar knocks him out. I'm. This is so. If Edgar ever sees this or listens to this, yeah. right? I, I, I hope Edgar knocks him out. I, I would love, but again, like but I in told Vegas, you, he's taking the odds. But, 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 <laughs> you know, has again, to do what he has to do you, in that ring. You yeah, can't bet with your heart. He does that right? You don't bet with your heart because then you'll lose with your wallet. You know what I mean? Yeah, so. Yeah. You know, I'm not a betting man, mm-hmm. but I'm remember the remember my prediction. I said between the sixth and the eighth round, mm-hmm. he's out of there. It's this weekend, right? Okay. No, no, September 14th. Oh, September. Right. Oh, okay. You're saying split decision, twelfth mm-hmm. round. That's saying, what you're saying. I'm saying it's going twelve, and Edgar wins in a split. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like he 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 gets his hand raised and 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 just just so nobody gets just so like nobody gets pissed one. off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, just so nobody gets pissed <laughs> off. Okay. I uh, after this fight, I hope that Edgar. Does what I was telling you. I'm saying, hey, he's going to have two roads. He either turns this into a Floyd Mayweather Canelo type where Canelo just kept surging, mm-hmm. right? Or he can, like, he gets the big payday and then he just falls off. You know what I mean? Like, he never yeah. quite gets gets I, well, back. I don't, I don't feel like that he will do that because Edgar is, uh, you know, I mean, him talk daily and uh, he's super hungry. Um, and he wants this and he wants more of it. Uh, he sees it. He feels it. And he knows. And he just found Christ. He knows what can come from it. Right. right. I think that's a big yeah, deal right yeah. there. So his mindset is in the right place. He's, yep. he's a family dude. You know, he's mm-hmm. not a partier. Yeah. Yep. Um, so there's a lot of things people don't. He's know. grown up fast. Yeah. Th- th- that's what I love, man. bro. You know I, I'm i going to say this, bro, because I again, brother, I yeah. seen this dude when he didn't have one tattoo. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I, I met this this kid when uh, man, I'm telling you, bro, there's some stories I can tell you. Like he was living at somebody else's house in Tampa because mm-hmm. he was training. You know, he was down on his chips. Um, I invited him to the steakhouse, mm-hmm. came through, said, hey, bro, get whatever you want, bro. Like, I was rooting for him, right? I was rooting for him at a, at a very young age. I mm-hmm. think he was still a teenager, bro, mm-hmm. right? It was This was like 2018, 2019. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to stay rooting for him. Mm-hmm. I How love what he's he? doing, right? Edgar's 27 right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. It, 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 then he was whatever. Yeah, he's entering his yeah. prime, essentially. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah, when yeah. I met yeah. him, he was about 9-0 and 0 or 10-0, and 0, yeah, yeah. and he couldn't get out of the Holyfield contract that he was in. Yeah. Back in the day, but again, bro. Regardless of what happens, I'm rooting for him, and I and and I'm I'm gl- I'm 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 proud that he he found this. You know, he got to family, he found Christ, and you know, he's hopefully he's made it through all those distractions. You know what I mean? I'm gonna okay. I'm actually gonna enter the women's division for the Olympics. Oh, here because, we go. Here we go. Yeah, you know, uh, wherever that thing is, I'm rooting for it. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm here, happy here, here for we- it. Um, I think that. Whatever that thing is, is, is literally um, maybe we'll get some, finally get a pushback and they'll start to regulate things and, and, and women will start to Have their time come back in place and say, Correct. no, we, we, we're taking our shit back. We're, Correct. All this. Well, it is an attack on women. All these acronyms. That's what it actually is. Correct. And I don't yeah. think the world is actually, I don't even think women realize it. It's less of an attack on men. Correct. Because we don't care if you're a feminist or not. Absolutely. It actually because, works in our advantage yeah. as, a, as a hunter and a masculine. Yeah, men, men actually fuck feminists all the time. Mm-hmm. We don't care what you identify as. Mm-hmm. You can be a feminist, you can be a stud or whatever. If, if that thing is working, we're going to do what we do. So men don't care. But I think this is more of a play on women protecting what's theirs and stepping up. Because mm-hmm. seeing that thing in there just destroying women, and, and it's not – and th- they're – they're not stepping up, mm-hmm. but I guarantee you, I guarantee you, if we was telling them like women shouldn't be boxing, there would be an uproar. Oh, but absolutely. it's a guy in there literally That's a knocking dude, the shit out of. Them. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they're not saying I think nothing. It was, oh. Two just, punches, right? And then she dropped the to the floor after that. that. Bro, girl. she's six seconds. She got hit and stopped fighting. She's like, yeah. I ain't never been hit. Forty-six that hard. seconds. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> bro, 46 oh, seconds. What's Yo, what the fuck is happening? Yeah, um, got but why is it there's like Wait, we have the clip. Him. Every time, whatever that thing is, I'm putting my Can money on. Can you bet it. on the Olympics? Uh, is it like it was, there, it, on certain be on, on certain betting money platforms? Maker. He's plus like three seven. Well, the thing is plus like <laughs> he gonna win. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He gonna yeah. win. Yo, Angela Carini is the Italian uh, female boxer, mm. and this is what's really sad about this situation, right? I have daughters. Um, I got a 12 year old and a five year old, and I can only imagine if my daughter was Angela Carini, mm -hmm. and she worked her tail off mm -hmm. for years and years and years, and her dream was to to make it to the Olympics yeah, to fight bullshit, to bro. fight for her country. It's not fair. And by the way, her pops, uh, I believe, recently passed away, and she was doing this for her father, right? Mm -hmm. And she has all these hopes and all these dreams and all this faith, and she wants to honor her dad. And then her first fight is against a man that psychologically believes that he is a woman, mm -hmm. gets in that ring, takes one hit to the face, 46 seconds later, says, hey, I can't do this. He's, this she dude's going to kill me. It's not this fair. dude's going to kill me. It's, it's, it's not fair to women. Considering the fact that it hasn't been that long since they've been like able to, they've gotten their own rights or sports. That's it's right. Just now mm -hmm. coming to them, like having their own stuff. The WNBA Correct. just signed a big major deal. Like they're well, WNBA didn't even start doing brackets until like 2010. Right. I think. So like um, Im imagine that, and then you got men that really are inadequate of being men. So they're like, we can just be women. Yeah. And women are just like, okay. But it's like, no, it's not okay. Like, this is yeah. an attack. This is basically them, like, slowly pulling But remember, the women are guys. empaths, right? So, again, they're not understanding. Uh, they don't – it's kind of like when we talk to a girl and we're like, yeah, you know that guy likes to hang around you because if you gave him the chance to have sex, he mm -hmm. would, right? Yeah. And girl's like, no, he's just great. Like, he's cool. He's my friend. It's like, no, trust me. He wants to fuck. Like, I, I guarantee it. Right. I always um, say, if he's your friend, tell him to send you a dick pic. And so, oh, <laughs> facts. Oops. Wow. If, he's, if he's your friend, he'll say no. Yeah, I, facts. But if he's not your friend – you're getting that dick. Oh, well, he's and gonna my send point it. in that is like, <laughs> he's gonna send it. so yeah. women, women have some great intuition, right? We all know that there's a spiritual intuition about them, but it almost seems like at times it is selective, right? Because right. women will tell you when you're cheating on they'll, they'll know for sure. Like, Oh, he's cheating, but they won't also know. And they already know the answer before yeah. the, when they, well, but then they also the won't know when their man's unhappy. Right. So the intuition does become selective. It's but selective. they can't tell if we're uh, lying. I mean, but, they know we're lying, but they don't. They but my, my point is, is it's almost like uh, I, I don't think women even understand that it's an attack at the level it's an attack. There, at, there's right? reports that it's, this, it's, this it's, person was a woman, though. She was born a woman. Openly an attack. Well, no, no, no. Stop no. It. The reports stop. are that she was disqualified from 2023 because they could the not world pinpoint what gender. No, no, no. Uh, I I Imani Khalif, yeah. right, from Algeria, had. Um, extreme high testosterone and yes. that's why she he or she was disqualified right. from other boxing but that events. doesn't mean they were born though yeah but i'm pretty man. sure i read another article where they bro. actually sent off the dna and it came back xy chromosome which is bro hold, hold on are you sitting here justifying well, are I was you reading a bunch of shit i'm not just i don't give a shit <laughs> what you're what are you reading, reading bro I'm you what I'm reading. cnn you're reading well, a cnn also, article so, no msnbc no cnn well, so then you get to wow, the point of wire. okay high Crazy. levels of testosterone and should women only get hit with for that. women only get hit with testosterone. This is a fact. Women only get hit with testosterone for almost five days out of the month, right? And it's I'm pretty sure it's right after they're ovulating. Men get hit with testosterone every couple minutes. That's why mm -hmm. men are always yo, let's go hunt, let's go ball, let's go do this, let's go do that. That's a masculine I want to dominate trait. That's mm -hmm. because of the testosterone. Yeah. Uh, women, if you want to get women at their best, it's when the testosterone hits them. But to have that high level of testosterone yeah. is not natural. That is so. She, she could be you, taking something too. She correct. Could be, she could be taking uh, testosterone. TRT. But then, but then we get into the, yeah, but then we get into the regulation talk, right? right. And, and yeah. so she's cheating. Correct. That's yeah. crazy. Right. Yo. I mean, you, you saw Elon yeah. Musk just say that his son just got hit with the with the woke virus, right? So let's go back to the root. The kids at the root are being hit with whatever scientists are persuading them psychologically to turn against their parents. Because in California recently, they just said that the kids don't have to tell their parents that they... AB 1955. Right? Bro. Yeah, and the Newsom two, Law. Those two parents the other day um, were t had their child taken from them because they tried to stop their child from getting the puberty blockers. So... You're having whatever this uh, machine work God, with the kids fuck Gavin Newsom. psychologically to fuck with who they think they are and then protect them away from parents that can help them guide that, that, their guides. Mm -hmm. So 
at the end of the day, I think that uh, we're looking up top, and we're not looking at the whole iceberg, right? We're, we're looking at the tip mm. of it. Mm -hmm. We're watching like the males are isolated change, but situations is not the overall actual premise correct. of the what purpose. they're after and what they're doing yeah because they yeah. said gen d 35 30 to 35 percent register as bisexual or gay that's crazy. right and then uh, i guess they're saying that uh 20 uh the gay population has rose uh what 20 to 30 percent now this oh, all started when obama sure. was by the way obama was a huge advocate for the gays for some reason he so he had to be why did he have to be well because you're in a white house. What do you What do you mean? What do you mean? He's in the white house. Uh huh. So you have to follow the rules Oof. because you're in my house. Oof. You think that's why he was a huge advocate for <laughs> the the gay that's community? A, no. Let, let me ask you. Let yeah. me give you some. Let me give. Hold on. Let me. Crazy? Let me give you some. Come in a white house and not you use, use my ingredients, not our agenda. You're not going against. You can do that shit after you leave, but for right now. This is what you're doing. He went hard for the gay community. He was yeah, but that's, so that's so. What are your job. thoughts on all the well, stuff? Well, let me that came let me give him some him rapid as fire. As him swinging both. Yo, let, let me give you some rapid fire. Wait, Hold on. It, I wasn't surprised. I mean, who who's not gay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yo, <laughs> let me. I got some questions that I got. I, that's I, facts. I, yo, Wayne, I, I got some questions I want to ask you. <laughs> you're a black man in America, okay? You not so much. I'm Haitian. Exactly. He's really black. He's no, he's, no, no. He's this, black. Kamala Harris's daddy. I'm not, I'm not black, but I'm African American. Yeah, Yo, Kamala, Kamala, <laughs> Kamala Harris's Yo. dad. Kamala Harris's dad, who was not in her life, he was Jamaican. He was Jamaican, right? I never seen her dad. I, I I've done the research on, on it. She grew up with her Indian mom and her Indian family. That's why she used to identify herself as an Indian American. Mm -hmm. um, she identified herself as an Indian American as an attorney general. She, had she, too, she identified herself as an Indian American um, as a senator. And then once when, when it was VP time and she needed that black boat, she, -switch. she switched it. Yeah. Yeah. So, but if she if, don't talk about being Indian American if anymore. If her dad is Indian, then I mean, she, he's Jamaican. She can, Jamaican. I mean, if her dad he's Jamaican. Black, she, she can say she's black. She can identify with that, but it's a cold switch, um, which I mean, if, you use that to get into certain doors, then so be it. Yeah. I mean, if it works for you, fuck it. I just like if he's mixed, right? But he looks more white than he does black. Then if he gets the job before I do, because I look more black, then so be it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be looking like, yo, he's black too, but mm -hmm. he's in the door. It is what it is. Maybe mm -hmm. one day he'll become manager and pick yeah, me up. Yeah, but the problem is black people are so infatuated with wanting somebody like melanin identity. in office that they can't identify if the melanin is for their melanin, right? Mm. They're just like, I want to see something of non-white in the position of power, even if the white, even if the non-white isn't really for me. Yeah, but my thing is why, when Kamala Harris has done mass, incar mass incarceration of black men in general, she don't even like us. They don't talk well, about that married to, they don't, She's married to a white also, dude. Uh, she's married to a white. She don't like us. They're so, not gonna, no one's going to say that, though. Yeah, but mean. us even voting for her and doing all that is crazy. And... Me personally, bro, I what a, a man's job is is what a man's job is. Right. And I want a man's doing a man's job. Mm -hmm. Period. She won't you be respected what, around the world, I'll tell you that whatever much. Whatever you want, but bro, we got there's Not three the uh, United States is quietly at war with three different powerful nations. Bro. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let me ask we you don't this. Need a man like as our president? They don't respect I mean, we don't need a woman as yeah, our president. Yeah, we need yeah. a man as our president, bro. Mm -hmm. As quiet as kept. That's just what it is, bro. Yeah. As a black man in America, let me ask you this. Uh, is Kamala Harris black? If you just said her dad is Jamaican, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, right. I, see, again, I didn't know that. I'm so disconnected and uninterested in her. That I didn't even want to do the research. Mm -hmm. like she, if, if she's saying that she's Indian and now she's saying as black as I, I know some some. Indian, I'll send you clips. I, I I know some Indian cats that look black. So, mm -hmm. okay. So okay. It's, it's, it's very well possible. But if she's co switching to get herself in certain doors in a certain rooms, I don't blame her. Why does she feel the need for the convention she just threw in Atlanta mm -hmm. to bring out Meg The Stallion and and sing? Body yaddy 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 well, yaddy and talk about Megan, her fat sweaty well, that's, p word. That's that's what black people I, I identify that's crazy. with. That's free Tory. Right? <laughs> it's 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 a, it's a sway mechanism. It's manipulation at its finest. Yep. And 
how else is she going to get our attention? If I was black, bro, I'd be insulted as shit. Like, if you came and did, um, you know, a convention in Arizona and you know that the population is going to be Latino, Hispanic, you know, and, and you bring out, like, some Peso artist. Pluma. <laughs> Peso Pluma or some shit just to, like, Pluma. to try to speak my language, bro. I already know that you're, you know, what you're doing isn't uh, authentic. You know Yo, what I mean? And I also well, just saw the video of Hillary next to Kamala. And I saw both that. Just like switching, switching how they talk. The way they I'm speak like, to black Kamala. people. I'm trying to talk slang. Yeah, yeah. But, but I'm talking about that. You have to know that. Well, it's 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 relatability. So it's Correct. marketing, right? So yeah. that's a, it's a, again, it's a code yeah. switch. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if you're able to do that, right, and manipulate a certain demographic, then it works for you. Yeah. So in 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 her not defense but in her campaign she's like why would you not use that obviously yeah. right but yeah. ob obviously she's like i need to relate to these people a lot more <laughs> she she may she might she might she don't give a damn about quavo or meg the stallion yep. but black people quote unquote do yeah correct. So she's like let me bring them out i'll sway them i'll get them going let me entertain them so that that will be a smoke screen for me talking about certain topics that are really not knowledgeable. Well, yeah, that'll people, that'll get people to stop talking about how many people are incarcerated. They'll forget. People right? are just people are gonna vote for her just well, because she's identifying as a black woman. Well, by the That's way, it. like mm -hmm. people are gonna vote for her just because of that. The race shouldn't be a determining factor. Shouldn't, but on it is. You vote for, right. Vote I'm for, with but you. it is, but at the same time, it's not because if that was the case, then everybody black that ran for anything. What was the song? My president's black, my Lambo's blue. Yeah, that 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 yeah. that any that, house would basically win. So I don't push. think. But I, I can see why factor. Kamala Harris brought out Meg The Stallion in Atlanta. They're both very good at sending black men to jail. Mm, that's a that fact. Meg, Meg The Stallion did that. Yeah, mm. she sent Tori to jail. Are you yeah. kidding oh, me, bro? Yeah, Where not, have you I been? On, know, okay. All right, next question: yeah, Is Michelle Obama a man? I don't know. She I, got kids. Ooh. Have you ever seen a picture of Michelle Obama pregnant? No, but it wouldn't surprise me. If Why she, not? If she wasn't a man. They've been in the office since <laughs> 2000. <laughs> they've been in the office since 2008. There's Why can't we all locate kids, a picture though. of her being pregnant it's with the daughters? a picture of her as a kid, as like a female. What is that, AI? You yeah. saw a picture of her as a female? You just Google By Michelle the way, you're Obama. the one always saying that she's a man. I'm not no, even, I'm I don't know. Like, exactly. I, just, I, I, don't, I don't know if Michelle Obama's a man, but if... Michelle Obama does come out that she's a man. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't well, either. I wouldn't even. I would have more respect Obama's for her if she came out. I mean, the better question is: When do you think that black people will overcome the mental incarceration of the victimization of what's been recycling year after mm. year of yeah. what we were? I guess slaves is what they, what history tells us that we are. When really before that, we know that black people conquered. Black people were in America before they brought Musa, us back Musa. from Africa, right? Yeah. So when people keep replaying the same story, so psychologically, all you think of like, oh my God, thank you guys for letting us free. Right. But because of that, they continue to be the victims. We have the lowest literacy rate. Uh, household income is at the lowest, mm -hmm. right? Uh, family, I think uh, uh, marriage, we're, we're at the lowest for marriages. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, it's like- you're, you're Planned Parenthood's number one customer too. So- Did you know that? When are we gonna wake up? Or, or when we talk to each other, even black, black people, I was a server. The people who tip me the worst were black people, yeah, right? But also, Damn, too, bro. Also, also too. So, to when are we going to take accountability for our own shit and stop looking for somebody else to help us? Ooh. That's the actual real question. That's right. Is when do you start looking at your household and fixing that shit versus us as a race? Because us as a race is fucked up. Mm -hmm. I don't have a white enemy. You know that I never fought nobody white. Wow. Mm. I don't even Damn. know what it's like to fight somebody white. Mm. I've never had a beef with nobody white. Mm. Wow. Nobody white has ever <clears throat> killed any of my family members. Wow. Right? Mm -hmm. And when we get money, we move where? To white areas. Not because we're sellout or we're too good, but it's safe. Because mm -hmm. our own people put us in danger. Shit. So before we get to mm -hmm. saying this, that, and the third, you got to look at us as a whole and say we're fucked up. And there's no saving our, our our race. There's not. There's no saving no race because everybody's fucked up a little bit. Mm -hmm. But I'm black, so I can only speak for our people and what I've experienced. We're fucked up. So that's where it starts, the accountability. When do you stop 
when do you, you can walk past somebody black and they'll stare you down mm -hmm. you look past somebody white hey how you, how you doing right and then when you go to different cities and different states you may experience that oh hey there's more they're more homey and and polite yeah but la and places where i'm from bro you walk past somebody black you like shit you looking back making sure they not turn around robbing you or doing none of that so mm -hmm. we're our own worst enemy at the end of the day granted systems were put in place for that to happen <laughs> i mean i've you've read the really lynch theory so understanding how that system was was implemented long time ago right for what's going on now but it's up to us to fix that shit internally it ain't up to no fucking president they don't give a fuck about us right. no well and it, they're coming in that house to fix shit that's going on with them and their yeah. people Correct. Just yeah. like I would. Yes. If I'm LeBron James, yes, my son's getting drafted. Hell right. yeah. The fuck you mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, he's going to the NBA. I'm LeBron James. Right. If I'm president, yes. Let's talk about my that. My son is, is getting out of jail. I'm right. the president. Oh, Yo, let, let, yeah. let's talk about that. By the way, I agree, bro. Well, I, the I only agree. time people don't like corruption is when it doesn't work in their favor. Right? right. Everybody would True. be sitting here lying saying that yeah. if they're child was drinking and driving mm -hmm. right and they got pulled over mm -hmm. they wouldn't like to have at least a little bit of corruption to be oh, able to get yeah. that cop to bring him to the house that's right and you'd be lying if you said you didn't mm -hmm. so that's why you're seeing a lot of the people that are even moving to countries mm -hmm. where the corruption is at least level field right mm -hmm. because the corruption is not level field over here <clears throat> and also to touch on that when you're incarcerated you actually see it's not a lot of interracial issues mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. it's a lot of for the whites, the whites are fucking up their own people. If yeah, they the got whites problems. are with the whites. The blacks are are, are, are are with the blacks. The Mexicans is with the Mexicans. And the they all fuck the their own people up, yeah. right? Because there, there's an understanding that when you go outside, mm -hmm. too much chaos happens. Yeah. So it's always been an internal war for each race, mm -hmm. right? And then also, too, bro, um, I ain't never had a black mentor. Mm. Mm. Same. You haven't looked for one or that Same. opportunity just hasn't? presented itself i've never had a black know, mentor regardless black if i was looking for one i've never had a black mentor either if, if i was looking for one or whatever the case may be i've never had a black but mentor. i've never had a mexican mentor either. so mm -hmm. at the end of the day we can sit here and hoorah and our people and this that and the third but all this shit is fucked up and i'm not here to save it i don't want to do, do, you, know, do you know what else oh. upset me when I, I remember i went to invest fest right in atlanta Last year, when I told mm -hmm. you about that. I went to Invest Fest. Damn, was that when P Diddy was there? Yeah. So, Holy so when smokes, I went to Invest bro. Fest, you know, I, and, great and respect to Earn Your what Leisure. I think that you guys are doing a, a great job bringing financial literacy to Black people. But what upset me when I went there, um, I really went there to really connect and to learn. Mm -hmm. And what I saw was they brought in very high level people. First of all, when Diddy came in, I walked away because that was weird. It, it wasn't even educational. It wasn't productive. What well, was that about? Well, well, Were you I there saw, in, the, in the in the audience? They they brought fifteen thousand people into this auditorium black people, black people yeah. which is great right for financial yeah, literacy for sure what i saw was more entertainment right just like bet which is owned by white people to mm -hmm. feed into black people um entertainment and not value tainment right mm -hmm. there I, I didn't walk That's away right. saying damn like i learned a lot i walked away like mm -hmm. why they're dancing again they're on stage hooped and hollering and then people are just in the in the cafeteria. They got mm -hmm. all the fried food, which is fine. Oh my God. Promote the well, brand. They like, did the same thing Kamala Harris did. So yes. What's any different? And as far as BET owned by somebody white, white people own everything. Mm -hmm. So, what do you expect? I heard the Jews are, uh, own everything. Well, they're classified white. They're white. as white. Yeah. 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 <laughs> all right. So here's the next question. Speaking of, as a black man, I gotta ask you this: Is Trump a racist? We are racist. So mm. I would say he's racist to whatever extent that he's racist to. I don't know him, but I have seen him in early pictures with Al Sharpton. Mm. Um, Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson. Mm -hmm. You know, um, before Trump ran for president or any had done anything political, you heard him in rap songs. Every yeah, rap song. the black he, community loved he Trump. Kodak Black out of jail. Mm -hmm. um, so to what degree... Of, of racist is he I don't know I don't know him but I know one thing is that everybody's racist well everybody has a predeposition to it based off of how they've been raised yeah, how they grew up I, I, I agree with you on also that. too right you got the media that media needs to sway us 
So the easiest way to sway black people is by calling the white person racist. Mm -hmm. right, when at right. the end of the day, we're all racist against each other right. to a certain mm -hmm. degree. The certain way I look at you and a certain way you look at me, a certain way he looks mm -hmm. at us, a certain way they look at us. So it's all tied in together. Yeah. So if it was a Mexican dude up there running for president, he'd be fucking racist too if they didn't want him <laughs> to win. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the easiest way to get somebody up out there, the, the easiest disqualifier yeah. is to call somebody racist. You can He can set up and say, my music is too loud. And if I don't want to listen to that, I say you racist. Mm -hmm. If he a cop and he pull me over and I'm speeding and I want to get out of the ticket, wow. bro, you pull me over because I'm black, not because I was going fucking eighty three and thirty five. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Bro, you ever think about getting into politics, bro? <laughs> no, bro. Uh, I it's, think it's, you would it's, do very well, bro. Nah, yeah. I don't. I don't want to fix. I don't want to fix. Bro, not to fix it, just to awaken. No, I don't want. I don't want to be in that system because it's 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 uh, corrupts you. The vultures. How about the, that environment? The vultures, yeah. They'll kill you, bro. It's negative. Bro, they tried to kill Trump. Look, y'all niggas is crazy. Like, bro, they try to take that man out. He yeah. needs to win. Yeah. Because I'm gonna vote for whoever they try to kill. Mm. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Mm. That's what. I, that's what that's I said. That's the goal. Yeah. Vote if they try to kill him. Vote for him. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Facts. Because Kamala Harrison got a rock thrown at her. No nope. mm. shit. Bro. So if they try to kill you, I'm voting for you. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm. Period. Yeah. Car mm. bombing, poisoning, anything. I don't right. care if you got. The highest level of whatever poison they done put in your body and you running for a president if you, and you're a presidential candidate, I'm right. voting for you mm -hmm. because it's a reason why they want you dead. Mm -hmm. Right. I think uh, with 100%. Trump, you know, they tried the if if you've been paying attention the way that these spiritual forces kind of operate at the top. Right. The way that they try to take you the out force is not spiritual. Th it's it's it's, it's not uh, spiritual. Uh, well, they, you know, Which they say that we're not up against flesh and blood. No, we are against flesh and blood. Them is humans doing that. That's not spiritual. It, it, mm. uh, spiritual was I, what Trump turned in his head. That ooh. was spiritual. That was spiritual. That was spiritual. Him, but, him saying, but the that fact bullet going at, that was spiritual. What we're up against is just the powers that be. The well, elite. That's what we're up against. That's, they're not spiritual. They're, they're people if you think about it, it though, they're they're it's they're evil. They're evil forces. They're they're principalities of darkness. They're like bad what they're humans. That's what. Well, yeah. how, what do you got? You got to be an evil person. Mm -hmm. You got to have some type of evil spirit inside of you to be able to do these things because it's it's inhumane to try to do these things. You get what I'm saying? Not if your right? God is money. Well, here, what I'm saying is. You don't think so? They, they, they do everything. Their God, God is their God is everything. Their God is power, control, it's, it's money, power control, lust. Bro. Yeah, that leads. It's, that's not money though. Trust me, it's not the money. It's the power. They have to. They need control. If they lose control of us, we'll overthrow them. That's they right. squirm. They need. Uh, they need, sheep, a, they need to distract us and need divide to us. Sheep, yeah. sheep. Again, back to what I was saying is, it looks like they run the same type of play on every single person, right? Mm -hmm. First, they'll try, to, they'll try to discredit you, slander you, right, uh, publicly everywhere, right, right, to try to get level people to one, turn on you. Number one, right? Number one. Yeah. Number two is um, they'll lock you up, right? They'll try. To, they'll find something. I'm yeah. sure everybody, like the government or the powers that be, can find something on every single bro, one of us somewhere. We're all felons, bro. right? You know what I mean? If caught. they wanted to, they'll they'll find it, right? All of us, Shout all out. of us. Garrett. And then if that doesn't work, which in this case for Trump, it didn't work, then what's number three? Well, I guess we just got to go to plan C. Yeah. Let's take them out. Mm -hmm. Right. And I said it from the I, I said it from the jump. I said, I think this is an inside job. And, and, and then people even on the show were like, oh, you mean like Trump try to set this up to try to. I'm like, no, I don't think this old. But we can't even get on a plane without being strip searched. Mm hmm. So they're going to let me get on top of a roof with a big ass. They let rifle, that happen, bro. We can't even get on planes mm -hmm. without getting stripped. Going searched. through the detector, bro. They mm -hmm. shoes off. They patting your dick, whatever. They take you to the back and do whatever they need to do. Put, you get on a plane, give you that good money. cavity search, bro. Whoops. But I think there's something bigger going on because I, I think they have equipment and powerful lasers and all these things that we don't even know about that they can take Trump out if they want to. They they really can't. Look at what just happened in Israel. They took out all the Hezbollah. They, did, they took out a Hezbollah commander. They took out they um, can bro, but the they they can commander. but they can't. They, they, you, they you can't just they get rid of Trump. It so I, obvious. I, I know, but what yeah, I'm saying exactly. They have exactly. things that there's gonna be a, such an uproar. Yeah, that it'll be literally be a civil war. Like oh yeah, in some, it, it'll be look it, what's happening in Venezuela. But I want you to finish so we can talk about exactly what he's saying. Yeah, but there's so many 
of the mechanisms, such as poisoning, such as somebody uh, coming in, uh, late, they could zoom into his house through through satellites at this point. Mm-hmm. Uh, Seven for sure. Military grade yeah. uh, type items, but if but they I think they wanted it to be such on a large scale, magn- like just like the magnitude of it, they wanted it to be such public, to where it scared the shit out of us. To fear, fear. Right. they need remember. I don't know if you read the really Lynch theory. It's all about promoting fear with COVID. The refs run on the floor. They stop the game, start spraying shit. <laughs> Everything was to promote fear. Mm-hmm. They needed that to happen at that time when we all was watching and watch his fucking head explode. Yeah. So we could be like, oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, fear, fear makes a human domicile. What it does, it, it cuts off certain... Um, neurons and and certain uh you follow mechanisms yeah. where you just clench up and you can't be rational in your decision making yeah, yeah, yeah. um and if, if they were to take out trump the middle class would go into an uproar because right now as we're talking we know that we talked about this the middle class right now is going through hell and back credit card is at an all-time high savings at an all-time low repossessions at an all-time high right now houses getting confiscated people are like yo we need somebody to come in and at least give us an idea of a savior if Kamala were to stay in office, I, I know damn well um, there's going to be an uproar. And then they're going to blame that on a on – a, um, uh, just like they did in Venezuela, mm-hmm. right? Uh, because he won, they said – there's a lot of stuff going on. If I know it's a coup. If she, if she don't do good, it's going to destroy the black woman. So I want you also to remember that too. For sure. If Kamala Harris does bad, and she let's say she wins and she does a terrible job, I'll show you right. the black woman will never hear the end of it. Mm-hmm. I think to save face, it's best that she doesn't win. Because if not, they're going to make a fucking crazy example of her. She's not exempt, bro. She's a pine. You can tell she's a pine. Yeah. Yeah. She's not you, authentic. When she talks, it sounds so You can plain. tell. Yeah. It's so bad. They're going to make a terrible example out of her, and then you're going to get all these... You know, guys. Oh well, look at what you know. It, that's you're, they're never gonna hear. You know. You know what, brother? Actually, you just you just triggered something. I, I believe that if for some crazy reason, you know, she was to get into office, mm-hmm. you're right. I think they would make a pretty bad example out of her. And I believe that it would almost uh, demonize black folks. Yes. We would go well, back to demonizing black people. They don't want to empower. Blame black the black people, person. Let alone the black woman. Right. Because remember, the whole goal was to separate the black man from the black woman to mm-hmm. weaken the black woman. They don't want mm. to empower mm. the black woman because now you'll have a household where black men, well, she'll be looked at as power. So when you get two people together, that's yeah. a household that they can't infiltrate. Mm. Right. So, again, I may be wrong, but who knows? Well, Dr. Umar, Dr. Umar was though. saying that black women are the fuel to the black population right now because for churches, black pastors need black women because they're the only one that give tithe to the church because mm-hmm. the they're, they're the highest paid um, earner of the household right now is black women. Wow, they, that's they're sad. currently the wow. decision makers. That's sad. I can't see her losing, bro. I just I, we're having great like conversation. We're using our brains. But I don't, I don't think that the majority right, right of now people the Republicans in this country are going crazy. do that. They, they don't know what to do because her numbers have skyrocketed. Right now, they they did they turned on the, the honeymoon phase. virus where they spread it on every channel, heightened her up into this like yeah. queen. Um, and right now the Republican Trump is Trump cannot do the uh, the same tactic as you say you talk shit about her, you bring her down. That's not going to work. No, you if anything, he'll 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 be looked at as you know um, well, what is a misogynist. Yeah, yeah. Misogyn- yeah. I think it's a dangerous job for. Her. But we'll see. All right, you know, um, this is a scary time. I tell you that much. What do you think? How do you think this thing plays out? I'm. I mean, I'm going for Trump. You know, I'm. I, that's who my vote. I don't ever vote, but that's who I'm going for. But what do you think is going to happen, though? Regardless of what you I'm, want to so happen. So, regardless of what I want to happen, I'm hoping Trump wins. Yeah, um, if not, Kamala Harris wins, and we live to see how this shit plays out. But. I don't think that this shit's going to play out the way that everyone is thinking. Yeah, they'll be celebrating this a black woman in the house. Mm-hmm. But that black woman is still being ran by white people. Yeah. So by the way, have you told some of the worst? Mm-hmm. Oh, not, bro. not not just white people, but but a white system that mm-hmm. she has to obey. Remember, mm-hmm. she's a woman. She has no power. She's a woman. And women do one thing. Some do some some do this right and they obey. Yes. They listen. What do you always argue with your girl? You don't listen. 
the ones who do listen keeps the husband. So Kamala Harris, if she wins, mm. she'll be listening. Mm. That's mm. the easiest mm. human being that you get to listen is a woman. A man, I'm not doing that shit. Yeah. This is what this is how it's gonna go down. Unless There's you're eighty order. years old like Biden. There's order. There's leadership with a woman. This is what you're going to do. Yeah. Or else. We need we need a we need a dominatrix <laughs> woman in office. Then they don't listen to men. They yeah. order men what to do. That's that's the that's the only way. Yeah. No, I just think that um I, I think that we um we'll we'll see. I don't know how this plans out, but I don't think it's gonna be in none of our favor. And I don't think it's gonna be in none of yeah, our favor. Is, yeah. Well, I think like, there'll be a crazy uproar too. I don't think it's no matter work. what. Either way, set. there'll be an uproar. And if Trump wins, we 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 already had him. It won't be an uproar. It actually be a the other side. The other side will the just other throw side fit will for be four mad years. When we've already experienced Trump. It wasn't a bad presidency. Right. right. This right. reminds me of when the Falcons played the Patriots and the Falcons. I remember watching it in Atlanta. I'm from Atlanta. The comeback. We we started celebrating halftime. You know, we're up 28 to three. Mm-hmm. Everybody's happy. We're like, we just lost Super Bowl, and then third quarter, we're like, oh man, this is getting kind of crazy fourth quarter makes you know everybody's crying the dad's crying i'm crying everybody's crying so this that's what this reminds me trump is an underdog right now from a media standpoint right yeah we're waiting to see what he's going to do but i think um but respectfully brother I'll, i'll say this right i mean trump beat hillary in 2016 and hillary runs like hillary ran the obamas Mm -hmm. hillary hillary ran the bidens hillary will run kamala harris trump beat hillary Mm -hmm. in 2016. um kamala harris kamala harris in 2020 received zero electoral votes from her own party to be the nominee for president that's when she identified and and all of a sudden and all of a sudden everybody's behind her you get what i'm saying yeah right so switched up i don't know you know i i I don't know i don't i don't think anybody has a lot of uh really confidence in in kamala harris um trump just has to be very careful because even on a debate stage right um if he's overly aggressive it can come out as abuse it can come off as abusive bro we got a man beating a woman on yeah that's right that's That's right that's why he has to be very careful i think we need to focus on policy i think trump should be trump that is a candidate in front of you whether she's a, a man, yep. woman, or a dog, mm. you be who you are. You signed up for a dog fight, I'm not going to treat you like a cat. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's tough running this country. You got to deal with wars, yeah. policies. If you can't handle yeah. me being Trump, yeah. then you not... You, you ain't gonna handle Putin. Yeah. You, gonna have you can't handle Putin. Yeah. You can't handle Chain. Iran. Trump's gonna you punch can't her. handle China. Trump's going to punch her like the, like the girl in the Olympics. Yeah. Oh I mean, God. everyone cheered for that, so... Right. What's different? Yeah. One hit. Yeah. Well... With that being said, man, I just want to let you know, bro, I appreciate you stopping in. For sure. Right? We got to do this again next time you're in town. Mm -hmm. Um, But, uh, yeah, man, we'll see how this whole thing plays out. We're living in a crazy world, Mm -hmm. um, and it's a great time to be alive. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, (laughs) all right. Well, thanks for tuning in. Um, Man, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. The only fee we charge here is please share this with as many people as possible. We'll bring you the truth on a weekly basis, and uh, we appreciate you tuning in. We'll see you next time.